What's going on, everybody? Rez here from Dojo Studios with Tutan Gunna and New Hayes, bringing you the first yeah. Dojo Studios podcast. Yeah. Um, this is kind of a new thing we're going to try to start up here. We're just going to do a test run for this one, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, what we're going to do is talk about just uh, just the channel. We're going to talk about video games coming out, new releases, anything new related to gaming, uh, media, the the like, movies, games, you name it, whatever. As long as it has to deal with video games, put the phone down. I gotta do this. Put the phone down. I you can... can't. You can do it later. We gotta do this. Go do it. Well, first segment. <laughs> Interesting personal stories. Now, since nothing happens to me or 2TG, since we don't go anywhere, we don't do anything. That's the benefit of staying home all day. Right. Nothing good happens to us, yet nothing bad happens so to I'm, us. I'm, I'm However, familiar. everything happens to you. I so, now there was a bit of an whatever. issue with your new motorcycle, I believe. I wouldn't say it's new, it's a 96. Well, it's new to you. New, well, it's new to me. It looked new in the picture, it, it was all painted up picture. and stuff. So. Oh, it doesn't mean. Yeah. By the way, it did look really nice. It did I look nice. You can polish a turd. So, how did that go? Let, let's hear about that. I heard you had a bit of an issue with that. Yeah, it leaks gas. It leaks gas. It leaks Why does it leak gas? I don't know. What? Ha- I thought you had it all fixed up. It was running in the- It was. We, I went on a ride, went up to everything, and I parked at my grandma's house to show it off, and I was like, poof. <laughs> It just took a piss. Hey guys, look at my new bike. It, it did. <laughs> Apparently, I, I left it up. I left up the tank, and there's just this short little stubby tube that goes nowhere. It goes nowhere. It's just hanging out of my gas tank. It's superfluous, it's, man. It's, it's supposed to be a, a blow up pressure relief valve or something. And the motorcycle. Mechanic. And apparently. It thinks there's always pressure in it, so it, I lost maybe like twenty dollars worth of gas on the street. But see, now that's like for a motorcycle, like a full tank. It yeah. takes premium well, gas. I, I put premium in it. Oh, it's a Mr. 96. Money bags. It's a ninety-six. You have to keep it running. I have good. a ninety-six too. I don't care. Not a fancy motorcycle. It takes it takes like fifteen bucks to fill it. Whatever. Ten to fifteen. I'd Look, rather. What you got to do with that thing is you got to paint them fucking rims, man. That's what you got to do. To. That's what you got to do. That that is to. the ultimate to ultimate. You got to paint those rims now. Um, anything else happened to you? Anything good, bad? Anything good happened to you? No. Anything else bad happened to you? Like worse or maybe a little less bad? Um, I don't know. You don't know? I can't think on the spot. You, you can't think, you right just now. had a whole life of experience this week to, to do something. Did You didn't do anything. You're usually the one now doing well, stuff. You just said we were going to do this. I didn't think I had the right notes. That's why I wrote notes. That's why you did. Because, because I'm smart. I would. think forward. I think ahead. Moving All forward. Right, next topic. Anyway, since that's over. My with, life sucks and there. There we go. That's if only we had done this after the beach. That would have been. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just hurricane, earthquake, me getting my house broken into, okay. my car getting backed into, all in the <laughs> same goddamn two-day span. <laughs> oh, and the food poisoning. And the food poisoning. <laughs> that, that topped it off right there. It was just. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but anyway. I swear to God. Our door. But in breaking news, in game news, breaking for the news. second year in a row, our good friends over at EA <laughs> bring you Madden, <laughs> FIFA, Medal of Honor, Battlefield, most notably. SimCity. SimCity. Yeah, they screwed that up. Well, they fixed it, they I guess. But, it, but it, it. anyway, EA has been voted the worst company in America. See, I don't agree with that. Again. Again. I don't agree with it. They beat out. Here it is. They were up and running against Bank of America. <laughs> And they won. <laughs> they won. Uh, apparently, it's from the uh, a company. Let's see, the voted the worst company in America by consumerists, which is where readers are uh, asked to poll the worst companies in America. Now, this annual poll is held bracket style, and EA knocked out Anheuser. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, they play the March Madness yeah, with the fucking it's, company. It's just like I hate. EA knocked out Anheuser Busch, <laughs> Facebook. AT&T, Ticketmaster, and then finally Bank of America to claim the prize. Do they just... How do they get the... How do they get the companies? They just pick random companies? Uh, I guess their fans submitted based on reviews, but other companies included in the bracket were Walmart, every major cable provider, Best <laughs> Buy, American Airlines, and PayPal. Because everyone's got a bitch about cable. Yes. I'm shocked, um... What's that cruise line called? That's <laughs> yeah, yeah Carter. You, shock- you mean the cruise line that left people stranded? Multiple times got away with it. I guess they didn't make it. I don't they know. didn't they make just, it. <laughs> no, we just left these people stranded in the ocean. Nobody but... cared about the rich people stuck out in the ocean, though. That's the problem. Oh, it's I carnival. Mean... That's not a rich thing. Carnival's yeah. like for every day. Look, they were on vacation. They got an extended vacation. Whether their yeah, toilets, toilets exploded. Ex- 
Look, I'm, forget all that. Four, li- four hours for a cheeseburger, I don't care. The poll is basically... <laughs> The poll is basically saying, I don't care about having to wait 40 days in the middle of the ocean, but God forbid I have to have an online connection to play a video game. Exactly. Well, it's, it even says right here, it says, after the last year's surprise that they did win, they were hoping that the video game giant would get the message, stop treating your customers like human piggy no, banks. No, no. I don't agree with And don't this. put out so many incomplete and or broken games what? with the intent of getting your customers to pay what extra for what they should have received in the first Reaching place. Over me. Like when they convinced me to spend a hundred bucks on Ultimate Team Packs <laughs> for Madden. No, 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 no. No one convinced you to do yes, that. That did. was your retarded problem. Get, Emmett Smith is so <laughs> overpowered in that game. That is your re- you could have just played games and got credits that way and took your time doing it. You just had to jump and be a, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you just had to do it quick. No. And I don't agree with it because E... I, no. <laughs> just no. The Medal of Honor is awesome. I love Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor is just a battlefield filler. I don't care. It was good. E, they got SimCity figured out, which is... A, now it's fine. Madden, I've never had an issue. Okay, no. I, Madden's iffy. I still love Madden. <laughs> Their flagship series is iffy. No, no, no. no, no, no. Because, I don't... Looks like you're a little conflicted. So we're just going to leave them that they won. They beat out a bank. All right? <laughs> Moving on, a new Arkham game no. coming out. Would you like to elaborate on that? I don't know anything about it. You know, uh, there's the links there. Genius. There's a link to that. It did. There's links underneath. You should have put it topic. underneath that. All right. See, see, this whole podcast is just gonna be us trying to find the shit to read <laughs> off of. That's all it's gonna be. All right, look. New I had Arkham it all game. Planned, Let it load. Like, oh, I want to use. Here we go. Plan. Batman: Arkham Origins. It's been announced. I got shit. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um. Good. It's slated to come out uh, October 25th of this year, um, but there's no mention of the game appearing on next-gen console, so it's coming out on your typical PC, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and for some fucking reason, the Wii U. Uh, it's It will not be developed by Rocksteady Studios. Instead, it is being worked on in-house at Warner Brothers. Uh, it actually w- ended up on the Game Informer's latest cover, which I don't have. I guess that's what I'm going to be getting. But the game is going to take place before both of the existing Arkham titles. Of course, it always has to be a prequel. (laughs) Always has to be a prequel with these people. It's when a young and inexperienced Batman will encounter many familiar villains for the first time, as can be seen in the game former image. So wait, wait, wait. Before he goes to Arkham City, he goes to Arkham City? Is that what they're trying to prove? Look, okay, it takes place in Gotham. One of your foes that you're going to be meeting is Deathstroke. You're going to be meeting Deathstroke. Okay, Deathstroke, got that. Um, Black Mask. Black Mask and Penguin. Yeah. Along now, along with the console game, there's going to be a handheld title as well. Always is Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. Exactly because that's going to be that's a, another vital part of the story. The that PS I Vita get. and the graphic rocking 3DS, um, also on October 25th, <laughs> and that if this could only see my facial expression of that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Actually, here they described it right here. Um, the company is making it is not too surprising to find it described as a 2.5D Metroid-style exploration action game. I don't know what any of that shit means. It's <laughs> being made by Armature Studio, mm-hmm. a company that was founded by several of the brains behind the Metroid Prime trilogy. So okay. that's where they're drawing their inspiration from on that. All right. So, any thoughts on that? Batman, I mean, obviously uh, you don't like I mean, the fact that it's a prequel, but it's always going to be a prequel. Every, like, third mind. game or something that turns out to be a prequel, except for a Assassin's prequel. Creed, but I'm not, it seems like they're mostly prequels. I don't mind prequels, I, it's just... They annoy me. I, there's always prequels. I played Arkham Asylum, and that game was just amazing. I didn't play Arkham City, though, but hopefully if they actually just keep true to what they've been doing so far, it should be a pretty solid game. But judging by the recent prequels, it won't really be anything wow. special. What? Oh, I'm just bitching on my phone. <laughs> hmm. Huh. There's uh, another article on here. I don't agree with it. Assassinating Batman in Arkham Origins. No, you get to kill Batman. Because you get to kill Batman in the prequel. How does that work? The Dark Knight will face eight assassins, including Deathstroke, who have journeyed to Arkham City to kill him. Now, we know that the Black Mask is responsible for putting a bounty on Batman's yeah. head. However, there is a key mystery in the game story with that. Also playing is its rookie protector, Gotham City. Players will not only see much more skeptical and potentially hostile Gotham City Police Department, but younger and healthier versions of big bad guys like the Penguin. So the Penguin's going to be in there too. He's just going to be young. He was never young and healthy. He was always that old, (laughs) decrepit bastard that tried to kill you with his 
Umbrella. And he's, <laughs> he's gonna look a little different because a little he different. didn't always have the tail end of a glass bottle shoved in one eye. So he's gonna have both eyes in this in this one. Apparently. No. He's a younger penguin. No. He was not penguin until he had that glass bottle shoved in his face. You might like. No. This. <laughs> you might like this. They are adding quick travel via the airborne batwing. They got the batwing. I'm okay with that. I mean, cause it's not controllable, but. It will eliminate the uh, of what they claim to be the more tedious elements of asylum in the Arkham City, where Batman that can was quickly the best go. Part though, the travel that was awesome in Arkham City. You I don't jump know. from roof to roof, glide. And oh, and you're not gonna like this either. I'm never gonna like anything. Because I know you didn't like La Noire for oh, this specific reason. Like you gotta do the investigating and the whole detail. Origins will also put more emphasis on Batman's detective skills. Cases large and small will serve as a slower change of pace from action, allowing players to investigate crime scenes, gather evidence, analyze data, and even return to those scenes with more information later in the game. So you're not only going to spend hours collecting evidence, but then you're gonna go later and backtrack after you've got some more info. To backtrack! <laughs> backtrack! No, I'm, and if over I'm time, playing... as each case is, is solved, hey, a full hey. video narrative of the case will unlock, piecing the whole crime together for you. No. Yep. Mm. I'm playing a Batman game. I want to kick ass as Batman. I don't want to sit there with my pen and pad and question people. Too bad. No. <laughs> you don't have a choice. I want to be like, oh, it was probably this dude. Let's go beat the shit out of him. Oh, it wasn't him. Let's go beat the shit out of this guy. I like that type of detective work. I'm okay with that. Beating people up until you find the guy. Oh, well. Just go around and beat the whole city's <laughs> ass. In, Where is he? In uh, Just, new console news. My head hurts. We know all about the PS4 that was released. And, uh, not released, but the statements were released and everything from Sony. Released. A veteran tech blogger has uh, <laughs> spilled the beans, supposedly, on the Xbox 720, <laughs> revealing a date, a pricing, and much, much more. He, so he I, can't help but, a shit. I can't help but laugh anytime I hear 720. 720, That's yeah. just... Uh, there's no way that their console's gonna be now. Done. According to this guy, I think it's a guy. Could be a girl also. Um, the Xbox 720, according to them, will be revealed on May 21st, ahead of a November release, and probably won't offer backwards compatibility, according to this blogger. Oh, Paul Thorot, that's his name, Paul Thorot. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also claiming that the uh, Xbox 720 will be 500 bucks <laughs> for a normal model, or 300 Five. or 300 dollars for a subscription model. Sco Wait. Which means, now, the rumor is, mm -hmm. following the Xbox 720, that you will always have to be online. So oh, the $300 Jesus model Christ. will be, if you get that with a subscription, so you're always, just a recurring subscription to Xbox Live. That's the rumor, that you always have to be connected. That, see, this whole thing about, on, like, I understand that they're trying to connect people better and all this online game. I like to sit at home every now and then. Go offline so that way you don't message me or you, oh, I got to level 12 and trophies before you. <laughs> Fuck you, by the way. Um, just, I just like do me every now and then, you know, play a game Madden, do some career mode, you know, play a little racing for Pro Street. Yeah, 2007 game throwback on your ass. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like always being online. And now following their issue with the new console not being backwards compatible, according to this blogger, um, he's not... Positive on the fact that they are going to release this, but he is knowing for a fact that they are making one, a ninety-nine dollar Xbox three sixty code name Stingray. Um no, my fucking god. He doesn't know so if making he doesn't exactly know what he's going what it's going to do, but he assumes I believe that it's going to be the one that's com backwards compatible. I I have one quick thing to say. If you're bitching about it not being backwards back compatible, if you have a regular Xbox three sixty game then apparently you at one point had an Xbox 360, right? Yeah. Right. Keep the system and play it. I still have my original Xbox. I still play my original Xbox games. I just plug in the damn system. That's like someone bitching because the Wii doesn't play N N Super NES games. Yeah. Pull out the NES and play the damn game. Right. Or go on eBay and get one for 20 grand. Exactly. <laughs> it's only 20 grand. I'm about ready to go get another PS2 so I can play play San Andreas. I'm now not bitching. What one you might I find am, yourself but... pretty, uh, the, the media following video games, game consoles sort of centers around, you know, Xbox is a big announcement, PS, PlayStation's a big announcement, but, you know, there's other consoles that always come out when all these Steam other directions do. There's other shit that's being there's announced. There's other shit that's being announced. But there's, uh, at least three new consoles as well, along with this. Now, one of them's not so much of a console, it's called the Oculus. Oculus. It's a virtual reality. Oh, now, now, look, the maker of Quake 
and was it Doom as well? Doom and Quake, yeah. that guy, he is all for this. It's on Kickstarter right now, and all these video game developers, the guys over at Valve, are Fucking all Cliffy in B. on this thing, saying it is the greatest thing virtual reality in the world Valve? has ever seen. You mean the people who can't count the three of those people? Okay. Yeah, Def yeah, Valve. Just making sure. I'm yeah, making they it. said it's a great thing that's going to be coming out, and he's I, trying to get money time, to send it to developers. Every time I think of virtual reality, I remember back when I was... 10 or something at this Power Ranger thing you put on gloves you put on the helmet and you got these little things coming at you just punch and they disappear that's how I think virtual reality is. This is supposed I to hate be, it I hate 3D I hate anything thing. that's in my face really the big thing is saying that regular game systems you get like a 40 degree point of view around you and with what they're mainly promoting is that with the their uh, virtual virtual reality headset you get 110 degrees of sight yep. I can't see over there right now <laughs> I don't want to see over That's there right now. That's technically 180, not 110. Yeah. So 110 is more of like, like right there. This. What you right out of your peripheral, right there. I can understand. I can see a few problems coming with that. If it's gonna be a shooter game, I'm gonna get shot from over there a lot. Maybe I don't even Just know. Like, how ah! But otherwise, there's two other ones. There's the Steam Box from Valve. I am looking forward to that. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that one's that. it's gonna be full digital download, right? That's yeah, probably gonna be full probably. digital download. Through their Steam network. That's how, yeah, that's how and the works. Oya. Oh, yeah. uh, the hundred dollar gaming system coming out that is oh, going yeah. to be running off the open source Android syst- uh, Android OS, um, which they pretty much say it's going to be super friendly to independent developers. Unlike ga- consoles like the I'm Xbox and the PlayStation, which are more closed off as far as letting you into their source code and how they program things. I'm down for that. Um, and they said you're going to get all your cool stuff. You're going to get your RPGs, your your shooters. And you're probably not going to get like Call of Duty on the Oya, uh, oh, yeah. but. You're gonna get those kind of independent games. They're supposed to be pretty I'm fun. I don't. So I don't. So know. it's gonna be like an indie but, game system. Yeah, pretty much. And they I, say they want like hackers to be able. They're gonna let hackers like actually get into the box, into the code of the box, and make the the Oya their own. The controller looked pretty cool. I like mm-hmm. what they did with the buttons instead of like the I X like square. That. It says O U Y A, so it actually spells the name of the thing Oya around the thing. Right, but cool. Um, cool with that. I feel like if any of the systems even stand a chance of of going up against the big companies, it's, it's going to be the Steam Box because it has a solid company backing it, yeah. being Valve. It's already there. I, and it's already sort of I, saying they're just with the, the console. Oh yeah, I feel like it's just a oh, yeah. repeat of the On Live. I honestly do. Mm, uh, nobody company creates a small little cheap system where everything's downloadable through the internet. And guess how well the on live did? Terribly. Yeah. I feel like the on live Oculus systems like it are just a Kickstarter oh, yeah. fad because that's how they became famous. They got millions of dollars for Kickstarter. They're not going to sell anything after that. That's what I honestly think. Now, in other news, this happens all the time no anymore. Man, bitch, Ever since that. that Newtown shooting... This has been going on. A Fuck California senator. Oh! <laughs> oh! All right, we're going to talk like that didn't happen, and we're just going to keep moving on. California keep Senator Dianne Feinstein has linked violent video games to recent shootings and has stated that Congress may have to step in if the industry doesn't change its actions. Now, Feinstein <laughs> believes that games have a very negative role for young people, and the industry ought to take note of that. That's a direct quote. And she went on to Parents say... Parents need to parent their kids. If Sandy Hook doesn't do it, if the knowledge of these video games this young man played doesn't, then maybe we have to proceed, but that is in the future. His mental disabilities, the fact that his mother taught him how to shoot... The man responsible for the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School last year was known to be an avid gamer. In right. case anyone didn't get it, that was a fucking joke Bitch, I said right before I played Pokemon, you don't see me out there throwing rocks and balls at rats and shit hey. trying to catch them and throw them at people. I know, and it, it's not the first... In 2011, uh, the Supreme Court actually ruled video games were protected under free speech and recent comments from other yeah, senators. Yeah, and that's, that's the end of that conversation because I'm not getting into that. And that's that's going to be a whole other podcast. It really could be its own freaking podcast because I could go on forever. <laughs> video games are... They're games. They... A lot... They're... They're artistic. They teach a... St- they usually tell a story. They're meant to tell a story. And just Unless because you, you might have to shoot a couple people to figure out the story is, go play Bioshock Infinite. And go tell me, yeah, you shot some people. Yeah, you shot some bad guys. Oh, but that freaking message in that mo- in that game, the whole big story, was art. That was absolutely breathtaking art. I still can't stand the fact that on, um, I think it was Metacritic for Bioshock Infinite, it currently holds like a 94 or something like that for the PS3. Mm-hmm. And there's only one bad review because some PC elitist came on and said, oh, this game's going to suck on the PS3. Two out of ten. Of but the oh. PC, he gave like nine out of ten. For Bioshock Infinite? Yeah. And then another person on, was it Metacritic, said that they hated it. Said. They, they hated it because the way it portrayed 
the founding fathers as demons mm. and jo- Abraham Lincoln as a demon and John Wilkes like Booth it. as a hero. It's, it's a, an it's a contrast. It's, it's another universe. The millions and millions of worlds. Did you not get the whole concept of the game? I'm right. Sorry, but hop off. But moving on, we've got another game announcement: Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag coming out. Oh God! Here we, we know go. who makes that game. Ubisoft. Black. That's their like. That's their big thing. Next to the Tom Clancy series, that's <coughs> that's pretty much them. I can't do um, it's coming out in fall. For PC, Wii U, PS3, and PS4. Not sure if it's going to be on the new Xbox system. If they make one, I'm assuming they're probably going to have one. But I'm, not. there's nothing announced Fuck yet Xbox. for that. Um, the main character that you're going to play in this, his name is Edward Kenway. Uh, Kenway. He is the assassin. He's a like a pirate type pirate. character. Now, what many people might think is that it falls out of line with the Assassin's Creed series. But that's because not everybody reads the Assassin's Creed books. And as a matter of fact, well, I didn't even know I'm there sorry. were Assassin's Creed books. I don't really hear about no books. But here's what this happens. In the book, Kenway actually trains Connor's dad. So Kenway is Connor's grandfather. He trains young Kenway. So this is supp- this so, is a prequel. Because Kenway was <laughs> Kenway <laughs> was cool. Kenway was yeah. trained by the Assassins and then he turned Templar. That's how that happened. So it can Oh, I sorry. Hate them. Was trained assassin and turned Templar. Trained by Kenway. So we're gonna be playing a, a Templar? No, no, no. You're playing as Kenway. Kenway trained Hate them, Connor's dad. Okay. And Hate them was an assassin. And then he turned Templar. And then he turned Templar. That's why the beginning of Assassin's Creed Three is like, oh, this cool assassin guy. And then he's like, holy crap, I'm a Templar. Okay. 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 So it's it's gonna be before Assassin's Creed Three. Right. So prequel. <laughs> <But anyway. laughs> this is. They go. They were moving at such a good clip, like. They had Altair, they were back in the whatever, blah, 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 blah. and then they moved up to Ezio. He had his whole run in the Renaissance? He had a trilogy. Yeah, he had his own thing. He did his and own, his own time period. They moved up to Connor. Okay, that's revolutionary, you know, all that. And then... But here's the thing, it's not a prequel. What do you mean it's not a pre- It's going to happen at the same... No, it can't happen at the same time. It's, it's not a prequel. an alternate reality? That's not an alternate reality either. The other, You're not playing as Desmond because Desmond died in Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, thanks for telling me. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> she didn't play it. Well, um, But you're playing Spoiler as supposedly alert. an Abstergo entertainment research and an analyst. In the end of Assassin's Creed 3, at the very end, after the credits, well, actually, when you're talking to your father, he talks about, you know, I got out, but they were, like, storing my memories somewhere. They're probably playing with them at Abstergo right now. They're probably digging into them somewhere. Mm-hmm. At the end of the credits, when we're playing and they go say, go and find the pivots, there's somebody talking. I'm like, did somebody, like, hack into the Animus or something? You don't need to shout, by the way. Yeah, you are, like... I am shouting? I'm sorry. I'm so freaking wired right now. But... Yeah, I understand. But, uh, what that is, is they believe the Abstergo analyst, they're... You are basically tapping into his father, uh, Desmond's father's memories, and that is Kenway. That is Kenway. I can't do this. My head. This is worse gonna, than Bioshock. We're just ending. gonna sum it up with a picture I found already. You either make a good good game series or get to the point where you're releasing annual installments. Now, one of the big points, since it is a pirate, a big pirate. Uh, it's it's big into the pirates, man. It's going to be awesome. Naval combat, they said, is going to be fantastic. They said the game's going to open up, and it's going to be it. almost right into guns, cannons. It's going to be a big what bang. I, what I saw from Assassin's Creed 3 with the naval, it kind of looked repetitive. It did. It, it They said they've polished the naval combat. They've gone just full awesomeness into it. Now, the tools that they give you in this game is going to be a little different. You have the typical dual hidden blades. He's the, he's the shit. first assassin to double up on sword. So you've got two swords. Nah, and then this guy has four pistols as well. <laughs> now, it's not going to be like Gears of War or anything. The pistols are all one shot. They have a one shot. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's time period. I get it. But the uh, the targeting for the pistols has a free aiming, which allows you to suppose to target easier. So that's that could be nice. I don't like that. to free aim. That's what they they claim. I'd rather have a there's no specifics on multiplayer, but they said it's going no to be no one plays a multiplayer. Very, they're just saying yeah. there's no specifics on multiplayer, but they said it's going to be very pirate based. So they assume there's got to be ships. there's got to be ships. Balance. But like two days they spend creating the multiplayer segment is just wasted time. Right. And they said that in past Assassin's Creeds there's been a bit of a issue or in Assassin's Creed Three, namely, it was hard finding the uh, quick travel points in Boston and New York and everything. So in this game, uh, all you have to do is visit a location and you instantly unlock fast travel to so that spot. So it's like Skyrim or Oblivion. Sure. You find the place, you can go there. I don't get it because like quick travel was always in the fucking Assassin's Creed series. They said but it was a little harder to, to 
navigate mm. through, but this oh. time they just said they've simplified it. It's a thing that you need to figure out. Um, another game coming out that I'm pretty pumped for is Thief. Jesus Christ. I don't see. I, I don't know anything about this game. So it's you fine. He'll inform us. I don't know anything about it either. It, let me guess. I read Thief, the whole article. It, it's a stealth game, isn't it? Just let me speak. Well, fuck you, yeah, It's developed by Eidos Montreal. Well, everyone knows them. Published by Square Enix. Oh, Jesus. It's going to suck. <laughs> oh, God. Now, I, I thought that, too, but go. the more I look into it, the more I've got high hopes for this game. We, yeah, it's a reboot of an old series that Always used to be on the PC starting in, like, 1998. Oh, here come the PCs. But gonna be like, hey, it, it is a stealth game. It's what? a stealth game. Here goes my head Sneak exploding. past guards, and you steal jewels and other valuables you can later sell to upgrade equipment and supplies. Now. Do I kill people? I... I'm getting to that. The main character's name is Garrett. He's an anti-hero, so he's kind of like your Deadpool. He's got... He fights somewhat for good people, but not for any, you know, ultimate happy purpose. Mainly, he fights because he's independent, and he just wants to get stuff that I'm really cool means that. people. Because what he likes to do, he doesn't just like to steal he's random like Robin shit. like Hood? Kind of... Not really. He's more personal. It's, it's personal shit. Okay. He doesn't like to steal random stuff. He likes to steal things that have, like, a personal attachment to him, like a ring. No, a when he steals the ring... Not only he's like he feels he's taking from them and he's taking something that he could never have, so he's making them feel his pain for something he couldn't have. Why couldn't he have it? Why couldn't he because he's so he's so ring? like a loner. Well, 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 you know he can open up and he can go outside and you know socialize and, and now get a job and buy his own fucking. It ring. seems like Assassin's Creed, but in Assassin's Creed, you know, you can just run in and just slaughter people. You can just go in and do. full that's battle. I like. You can't do that in this game. Yeah, see, you can good. fight. He can fight, but the primary goal is to sneak around them because you can't take on more than like four enemies. Take at on what I want to take on. You can't. Well, watch me. You can't find a cheat. Your hideout's an old clock tower, too, which is kind of cool. It's like the crow. Yeah, like the crow. <laughs> um, however, while it's not like Assassin's Creed, the character Garrett was designed by the same guy who designed Altair, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Canton. He's the game director. Well, Altair He's the game director. Beast, so. um, the tools you have, is called one is called a blackjack. It's a leather-wrapped club that you get to knock guards unconscious. Um, a bow. You get a bow. And they saw two specialty arrows in the demo that they got to play. One is called a dry ice arrow, which snuff flames from a distance like candles because that can actually play an important part. Like if you're sneaking into a place, if you're in a room, you can snuff the candles to make the room darker, giving you more places to hide in the shadows against walls and things. Um, and the smoke starter arrow, which provides cover and distraction to guards. You have and, way too big of a boner for this game. And one of the sequels that they, uh, one of the sequels one of the sequences they played, he shot an arrow through a window that hit a glass bottle, broke it. Guard was like, "Oh, what's that? I'm gonna go in." And then he shot another arrow, hit a switch, and it closed the door behind him. And he locked the, uh, it shut the guard in. So you got there's gonna be audio cues and things that you're gonna have to sort of observe movements and take your time with this. I don't like that. And the, there's another element in the game that's called focus. It works sort of like eagle vision. You can see hidden things, hidden stuff on the walls. Because there's some, like, uh, magic that plays into this game as well. Not so much as it used to. Back in the PC, they said they used there was dinosaurs, there was monsters Have and stuff. Have you been talking? That, yes. I haven't listened to a single thing you've said. There was monsters <laughs> you fought, and that's gone now. But the focus, it slows things down. You can see, like, pipes you could run up. And when you're in combat, you go into focus and you can see hit points. And they said they studied the Sherlock the Holmes. The face. They studied the Sherlock Holmes movies, the slow motion fight sequences that they did. And they, you can see hit points on the body. That I'm done. One, you can you can either push him in the chest to run away or in the sequence that they did. You or grab you can the shoot arm, him in the rip face. it around behind his back, and then you break his leg with your your heel. You kick him in the leg, and you hear a snap, and you break his leg. Or, or you shoot him in the face with your arrow before he gets close to you. No, it doesn't that, work that way. Why doesn't it work like that? You don't have a your dry ice arrow can't shoot him in the face. He did shoot, shoot an arrow. Shoot him in the face with your, with your smoke an, thing. He shot an arrow and, and pulled a statue down on two sure, guards. I don't know. I want to shoot an arrow in a guy's face. Look, you also have a freaking a, a grapple hook, which uh, welcome to the loudest podcast on the internet. It, I, I do scream. I need to. Stop. I'm just saying. It's coming out well, in 2014. Okay, for PC and good, next gen. Good. So I have consoles. a good year to prepare myself for to be the most aggravated gamer in history. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, because if you do if you do a playthrough, I'm gonna sit there and watch because I'll get pissed. <laughs> I will scream and I will yell. That's all I want. I need a fat. I'm sorry. I know I bitch a lot. A lot, but I need a fast-paced game where I can take on a whole fucking army by myself and, and not worry about video it. games. No, no, I, I I play video games to escape reality. Okay, I can't take on one person right now. All right, I want to take on an army in my virtual reality playground. All right, with a pistol. Make not even that. I just want to beat people to death with my fists. I'd be happy with that. Give me a Call of Duty game where all I use is fists. I'm like Bruce Lee taking down North Korea. Just. 
just, it. just bam. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Karate well, chops moving, and moving on. Treyarch released the uh, upcoming new map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm Inside of that, Mob of the Dead, the brand new zombies map. 2TG knows a little more about that than I do. Finally, you all actually that. say something kind of interesting. He's got all the information. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh so Watch you... dogs all the way. That's what I say. Oh, my God. Hop off. Watch dogs. Bioshock right. Infinite's getting the game of the year. So, uh, did you want me to take this over? Yes, you, okay. this is you. So, the main thing that they were talking about is that the map takes place in Alcatraz. And what I actually respected from the team for once is that they actually visited the Alcatraz prison instead of just searching it up online, reading books. They actually got ideas from visiting it. And obviously, because it's the prison, it, the map's just going to be huge as hell, which I really like. And um, I can work both ways. Found that out in the fucking die rise. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't know where the fuck I'm going. But, um... This was also really interesting. The main Easter egg that they're offering in the game is that your characters are going to try to assemble a plane to get off of the island, mm -hmm. which means it if they're, if it's going to play out how they're saying, it'll be the first actual endable chapter in Zombies history. Other than, like, you know, user-created maps and whatnot right. on PC. But you can buy an ending. Mm-hmm. And another little thing that they put in that I really enjoyed, every location will have a certain song that will cue up when you first enter into the area to sort of set the at atmosphere for that, for that specific, specific area. area. Well, here's my question. What, uh, they said the first ending chapter, and there's new characters in this one. What happened yeah. to the characters from Die Rise and they Transit? They did just, not discuss that. It's probably gone. just going to be other people. It's, dealing with, it's probably going to be other people dealing with the It's probably apocalypse. just set in a different time it's, zone. Yeah, it is, because I saw they were like, Oh, no, old, old, school, they're, well, they're not. Old they're like, but people. yeah, but we're going back to like the 1920s with people from that era now yeah. in Alcatraz. So it's like a different time period, not just a time zone. It's a new time period. Mm -hmm. The zombie apocalypse, and this is what you're bitching about. <laughs> this is what's not believable. <laughs> yes. Really? But as you said, the original characters, well, at least the characters in Black Ops 2, they are gone now. Good. And no, I didn't they're really care for them. What I actually like is they got actors from actual like yeah. sort of gangster movies. Like, they got... What what they have is Ray Liotta, who was in Goodfellas, yeah. as Billy Handsome, Chaz Palminteri from A Bronx Tale as Sal DeLuca, Joe Pantoliano from The Sopranos as Arthur Arlington, and Michael Madsen, who I didn't write down whatever fucking movie he was in, <laughs> as Finn O'Leary. And when I was looking up the various course, names for who all was in it, they actually had listed on this other website that... Nolan North is in the game as Brutus, and judging from the trailer, just by the name, that I assume Brutus is going to be is this brand new boss zombie that they put in who mm -hmm. just comes in, wrecks yeah. your shit. He's kind of yeah. like the Doctor just from Five, yeah. but he doesn't take your guns, but he does lock every, he just, he just everything just down. Now, what I was interested to in seeing, I don't know if you found this out or anything, but in the trailer there, you see like this side where there's this big flaming dog head like eating it's, zombies or something. Yeah, but, I, I don't know <laughs> if that's going to be a trap or if that's just a little thing they threw in there for the level design. It's weird. Hell of a trap. <laughs> but... Like you said, I do like the fact that they're trying to add in a tiny bit of a challenge by making it so, like, the boss zombie locks the perk machine and it closes down the box and you have to pay to reopen them. I like this new perk stuff. it's looking like. Electric oh, cherry. Yeah. Yeah, How many times have we good. been reloading and just get exactly. swarmed by zombies? I like now that. I just fire, reload, and just get them all off me. That'd be nice. That's nice. I like that. And as we stated, the traps are finally coming back to Black Ops 2 zombies, which I believe is for the first time. I think it is. In Black Ops Two, Black yeah. Ops Two, there's been no there's uh, been no traps really, unless no, you count no. the trample steam, which isn't really I mean, you classified as a but trap. No, the first purchasable been, trap. Yeah, there right. hasn't no no trap yet. Right. And um, one of the things they were really trap. pushing trap. is that the prison warden, one of his hobbies, while well, just I guess he just fucked around on eBay or something. <laughs> In the 1920s. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the 1920s. They had fucking eBay, believe it or not. And um. He liked to buy Civil War... He bid it on Civil War weapons through eBay in the 1920s. <laughs> Never more Craigslist. Yep. And the main one they were showing off is this new weapon called the Blunder Gat, which <laughs> is a blunderbuss meeting with a Gatlin gun. Fuck do you yeah. remember Do you remember um, the boss in Code Monkeys, that cartoon? Yeah. Do you remember like that multi-barrel shotgun he had? Oh, yeah. This thing That's got four barrels is. on it. It's got four Hell barrels. Yeah. And now they hinted that 
they didn't say specifically that there's going to be a way you could upgrade, but he's like, there might be a funny, there might be a cool way you could upgrade the gun in the game, like pack a punch it, and it's going to be really awesome. But now wait, are these gonna say the blunder get? Like, is that going to be a a buildable gun, or do you find it, or is it a um, box weapon? Is they it didn't a, like. Is they it didn't exactly like say. Wolf? They just they just pan. They just flash to a uh, sequence where they're holding. Yeah, it and I, using saw, it. I saw it, but I wasn't. I don't. I don't think they released anything specifically as to how you're going. Because it, it. I really hope they go back to just putting special guns in the damn thing you instead of letting it down. But you stupid ass. Maybe you gotta get to like a certain location in the map and just find it. I don't know. I did you, see. You need to stop bouncing up and down right now. You can feel that. Yeah. Or you just I seeing... can see you <laughs> going up and down I'm, repeatedly like I'm a jacket right now. I did see as they went through the various parts of the map that there were some building tables. And I pretty much expected that because mm -hmm. all the maps have had building tables. Right. All the big maps, anyway. Transit and Die Rise mm -hmm. have had buildable objects. That's like the thing right now. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Let us down. They just let us down. That stupid jet gun, turbine gun. Oh, yeah. I didn't like horrible. that at all. I was so excited to get that, too. I was like, I, I get it. I, I get it. I, I kind of like the slip gun, whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Yeah. But it didn't do enough to help me. <laughs> I mean. Because it fucked you, too. It did. You straight that shit. I and boom, I off the side of the road. Right you go. into them. Exactly. But finally, what's probably the more controversial things for the map... It's definitely the biggest change. ...is that it's going to introduce a new afterlife mode. I like it. Which is going to be a form of gameplay that the player spawns in and enters upon death. And apparently in this mode, there'll be, there'll be new areas and objectives that will become available for the player to complete, such as turning on the power and all that good stuff. Fuck. So wait, I go into that when I die. It's yeah. not just how I start. I th Every I time I die, I'm going to go into that, because that, like, I have this thing where when I die in zombies, I just like to spend the interim just, like, jerking it. So that's too? really going to cut down <laughs> on, like, the whole... Really? Jesus that's going to really, like, be you every time I die? Jesus Christ. I, I like know. it. It gives you something to do. I had something to do already. <laughs> I didn't need anything to fill that time. But, um, I think that's pretty much it for, uh, gaming news. Uh, well, At least no, because no. there's game releases. Well, I mean, authentic <laughs> gaming news, that is not game, game releases. That's news. It's news uh, to everybody. Else. Well, fuck you. You know what the fuck I meant. Anyway, new games and coming out on April 16th include all, all the releases that are he's about to say are coming out on April 16th. On April 16th. Injustice Gods Among Us, which is an upcoming fighting game based upon the fictional universe of DC Comics. The game is being developed by NetherRealm Studios for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii U. Pandora's Tower, an action role-playing video game developed by Ganbarion and published by Nintendo in Japan, Europe, and Australia for the Wii video game console. What? I would like to say that so I don't know don't why it? it's not being developed for the Wii U, but just the regular Wii. I, they, that's not going to do well understand. at all. That is not going to do well at all. Um, oh, this is probably my favorite one. No, it's Wii. A Nintendo 3DS updated port of Soul Hackers will be released in North America as Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Soul Hackers. <laughs> Jesus God. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Soul Hackers. Because the original title of De Devil Summoner Soul Hackers wasn't long enough. Exactly. So they had to add Shin, Shin Megami, Megami Tensei. Tensei. That's really oh, nice. awesome. We did it again. That's really awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, not gonna buy it, but it's really awesome. Apparently that was an old game back on the Sega Saturn that nobody played. That's been out in Japan for like a long time. Like, hey, let's fucking re-release it. Yep. Um, let's see. So, that's it for gaming news. Mm -hmm. Now on to some little extra things. Some movies. Some movies. Uh, thoughts well, on released upcoming movies. We just went and saw The Evil Dead last Friday when it came out. Um, personally, I'd give it a 4 out of 5. Okay, I thought you were going to go the other direction and just say 4 out of 10. Or no, I'm not going to give it a 4 out of 10. I will give it a face. 4 out of 5 because what I expected, I found the original to be more cre creepy than just the way that they you acted. You thought the, the original was creepy, you're a bitch. Because that, that was... With the characters and the way that girl was like swinging back and forth. I, I knew what to... I just felt I knew what was coming in this one. Every time, like it, it didn't surprise well, it's a remake, me. Like the girl of, so. in the shower. Well, that wasn't in the first one. The no, girl in the I shower, mean, and I was like, I know she's going to have her but... face. Especially when they showed me the pages in the book. I knew what they were going to look like, so I wasn't expect. I was expecting her face to be completely freaking gone. Mm -hmm. um, How for... I give props to that dude for taking a shitload of beatings. Dude, that guy... Mm. Wait, can we... Should we talk about this stuff? I mean, if someone's going to be watching this and Guess gonna... what? Spoiler alert. Now we're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, but and if you go to see it, stay after the credits... Mm -hmm. there, there's a big, big nod there. Right, right. When the credits start rolling, there's an Easter egg, and then right at the end, there's an Easter egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, as for me, I'd give it definitely an 
8 out of 10, or as you said, a 4 out of 5. Um, for me personally, I felt like they focused more, or too much on the blood and gore part of it. Can't have too much blood and gore in a horror movie. I just feel they should have spent more effort trying to bring in the more humorous moments from the original movie. But this, they threw this in, is, come here, let me suck your cock. I knew that. I should have known that was coming. And that's but, like every freaking yeah, demon movie. This, this is this. They made this how the original was supposed to be made. They wanted the original yeah. to be horrifically horror and. You know, it ended up being hilarious because of the props they tried to use and the, well, the dummies. Our, and maybe for that time it was... No, even back then it was hilarious. Was it? It, it was I hilarious. And that, that because that's what, that's what spawned the evil, or Army of Darkness series. Because they said, fuck it, we're going to go with comedy now and mm. all that. I admire what they did. I loved it. I loved the, the whole blood gore cutting off your arm with a meat grinder thing, <laughs> the cutting your tongue with the razor blade, and, and then making, making out, out with the oh, girl. God, and then I smell your filthy soul. Exactly. That and, 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 then, uncomfortable. and then I, her ripping her own hand off when she got caught in the Jeep, and then yep. cutting his leg. I, I that, loved was it. That, <laughs> shut that was swag. That was swag. Pulling her own hand shut off up. like that and just, suck it! That and was, with that freaking no, awesomeness, no, that, that was awesome. That was just bossing up on her part. But, Swagging up. Like you said, they did up. have some humorous lines, like your mother burns in hell. I found that one really funny. <laughs> really? Yep. They found that one funny? I love hell jokes. I just, I hate that damn raping trick. I just, I, do, I, I can't I do, to, I don't do rape. I, I just gonna, don't do it. I was gonna no get to that. No one does rape. The, apparently not I everybody else. rape. Is, That's fucking great scenes right there. But, I I'm give. kicking him off the <laughs> channel. <Let's laughs> we're gonna get so much I love shit. rape and children deaths. Great, Spoiler feminists alert. just come at us. Feminists and, and everybody else. They just did the number one thing you don't do in a movie. What? You don't kill a dog. Oh, oh, with the dog. All right, I'm drawing the line in the sand. Screw the dogs. I want more dog deaths. If it was a cat, you'd be bitching too. No, it's an animal. There was a bunch of dead cats. You didn't see me. Oh, the kitty cats in the well, basement. You didn't see it happen. The kitty cats like, in the basement. I'm sorry, but you, you didn't, didn't see the dog killed. Oh, no. Okay, well, really, no, no. Yeah, okay, maybe. But okay, yeah, exactly. I, I just don't. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like you kill a person, cool. I don't do it that. again. Do it more bloody one. next time. You need to go to church. Dog, fuck, I'll burst into flames if I walk into a church, and you know that. I will give this movie a four and a half out of five. All right. But finally, just throwing in one last thing, I will give major respect to the director and whatnot for not using any CG. Yeah. Purely special That's, effects and makeup. Yeah. It, it, it just it looked back. fantastic. That's how horrible. Afford that. awesome CG. No. They didn't need it because they didn't need it because it would look better with exactly. just makeup. It did look good. Like, that tongue-cutting scene oh, wouldn't have looked good with, in CG. Yeah. And all the blood would look like such shit with CG. I, I, this isn't on here, but I, I went and saw Jurassic Park 3D. <laughs> yeah? I'm not going to lie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't hate the movie. I hate the fact that they're rehashing it and putting it in 3D as a gimmick to try and sell more seen. movies. No, 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 hold on, hold on. There wasn't shit 3D about it. Like, nothing <laughs> came out at you. Like, there was none of that. I hate 3D and everything it stands for. I can't stand wearing glasses. I don't like it. I can't do it. It just annoys, gives me a headache. But it was cool seeing my childhood in 3D on a big screen <laughs> instead of putting in a VCR and watching it through there Cause when I, I was a kid. I will say, going to the movie theater is the way that those movies are meant to be seen in just the surround sound on the big theater yeah. screen. And plus the 90s acting was just <laughs> awesome to see again. I just that wish was... they would have just released just a plain 2D version. Oh yeah! Just like didn't they do? They're, do they're doing that with all the movies though, like Finding Nemo in 3D. Yeah, and, but they're coming out with Finding Dory. Yeah, the Finding Dory. That'll be. Yeah, in, I'm um, more excited to see just that wait, than most little kids. Wait, ten more years. Finding Dory 3D. <laughs> What's the new one they're re-releasing in 3D? Uh, it's not Monsters Inc. Is it? It might be. There's a yeah, Monsters Inc. That. U coming out. There's, There's like a, a new one coming out. Go to college out. or some shit. I can't. It's a prequel. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. yeah. It's been there uh, they graduate, then they go to the. I love it. Damn prequels. Anyway. We're getting a little off topic uh, from the what the subject we're supposed to be talking about is horror movies and remakes in general. What do you like? How do you feel about horror movies as it stands and remakes as they stand? Or what needs to happen in order for a remake to be successful? Such as like the Evil Dead. What made that? Even though it's a remake, it's not a remake. What, yeah, it was. No, yeah, it was. What makes it's it more successful? like a retelling of yeah, a it's story. Just another way to tell it, which I'm better. I'm because right it's at. different characters. Sure, it still True. kind of follows the same story. Yeah. Uh the horror movie genre is in the shitter. I just think it's mm. impossible to scare people right now. It's yeah, they're, they're so everyone's... hardened by all these violent video games and stuff that they just oh, want to stab people. Don't get in there. They just want to go kill people but and they don't care. I I don't know. Like it, it is hard to get at people's core anymore because they're just like, "Oh, whatever." 
I, I, I know. wish Paranormal oh Activity God. would stop. I know what to do. <laughs> what? Let's kill real people. No, no, no. No, I got this. This is how you're going to get to people's right into the core, right into their very souls. They haven't tapped into this yet. A haunted puppy mill. Mm. Puppies in a mill, and it's haunted. And guess what? Dogs just start dying. They're just found Left slaughtered right. everywhere. Slipped a- and you see dogs just getting ripped apart, thrown across the room, just thrown into big blades. Out. Just yeah, you're gonna have Peter's a big doggy slaughter. It's not real dogs getting killed. Yeah, it's not dogs yeah. really the thing getting is, slaughtered. There'll be no story to it. It'll just be constant just dogs. Dogs dying. getting slaughtered for ninety minutes. It'll be like a doggy holocaust. <laughs> and the the remakes. <laughs> That'll be the title. Yep. Doggy holocaust. All right. <laughs> now get out of here before we get like sued that. by somebody. Snow, here. Snow, um, snow. The remake part of that, I don't think they should touch it. Like, Halloween, I wish they never would have went back and did that. Rob Zombie killed that franchise for me. He just took it, and... There's so many things... Like, the first one, the first remake, Halloween, the remake, the first one, was good. I'll agree with that. The second one was shit. Because Michael Myers doesn't make noises. He doesn't grunt when he stabs people. He stabs them once, kills them, and that's it. He doesn't go all, you know, da 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 Only well, Maybe he did that a couple of times, but he doesn't do it every time. The second one, that's all he did. He stabbed him repeatedly, 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 grunted, made noises, and he took his mask off. He took his mask off? Took his mask off at the end. You don't do that. Because when you take that off, that humanizes the character. Mm -hmm. You don't want a human coming after you. You want a a monster that you can't kill. Take the mask off, you disassociate him with Michael Myers. But Period. I hate that. In paranormal movies, when like there's demons, I hate when they try to basically visualize the demon. It never like works out. Like you didn't like in Insidious when they finally showed. Insidious had me. I was all over there with the freaky girls and the shotgun and the weird ass shit. But when they did that whole, they showed the Darth Maul looking yeah. demon guy with the hooves, I was not. Well, I'm okay the with that. The old lady but, was still kind of creepy looking. But I'm, say, I'm saying when you're, when you're in a, a slasher film and you take the thing that is most iconic in a slasher film, which is a, a, the mask itself, mm-hmm. And you take that away from the character, that's not him anymore. That's just a person. Freddy Krueger didn't need a mask. No, he he, well, he wore it because that was his face. <laughs> now, Jason, that stuff. You ever see him without his mask? Mm-mm, see, I'm no. I'm a huge Friday Thirteenth fan. That's my favorite Wait, I think horror I have. genre it looks of really all time. Bad. You, you it's horrible. Seen him his face is horrible. But you you take that off, and it's not him. Still, it, I mean, it is because you know his face. But it still looks like a really creepy exactly. monster. It, 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 but it's not Jason. You know what? It's, right. it's, it's what's it, that's the hockey mask. The some, hockey mask is Jason. Uh, some people will argue that because he wore a fucking burlap sack as a mask in the first movie, he didn't wear a hockey mask in the yeah, first the movie. The hockey mask ruined it then? Is that what they're saying? They're like, like oh, the hockey mask is so no, fucking he didn't, he didn't find it. He found it in the first movie. Okay. Or was it the second? F- um, Damn, I haven't watched it in so long. But yeah. he found the mask, and that's when he was like, well, I just look like a fucking hillbilly with this damn sack on my face. Let's put this thing on. And that's what started it. And that took over. No one... Well, actually, in the first movie, he wasn't in it at all. The first Friday the 13th was his mother. It wasn't him. But yeah, anyway. I, I do remember hearing about that. It's just like the Halloween series. Some of them he was in, some of them he wasn't in. I don't know how they pulled that off. I don't know Halloween, when you have Michael Myers as your staple point, how do you not have him in some of the movies? I'm saying. It's but just... going quickly back to Insidious, are any of you excited for Insidious Chapter 2 later this yeah, year? Yeah, I guess so. I could see it. Go, it was a cliffhanger ending because I don't remember... I don't know. It ended weird. And All I'll say... Hey! All I'll say is that movie did get the shit out of me. That movie did get me. When she was taking the pictures and shit and switching the colors in the house. Mm. <laughs> that, them I girls, knew it. man. That, t- I knew that it. girl. But, uh, the re- I don't know if this is considered a horror movie. I would love to see a Jaws remake. Some people consider it a, their best, the best horror movie of all time. Like the Jaws? original Jaws, but I want them to do the, the plot the same exact way. Don't switch it up. Don't make him have freaking laser beams attached to his head. Or jump, shit. jump 35,000 feet exactly. into a plane. Yeah. Oh, None shit. of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see an oversized... Not not a Megalodon shark. You know what that is? Yeah, I Not know a Megalodon. Megalodon. I want to see an oversized great white. That's it. Not not a mutant great white and shit. I just want to see an oversized Wasn't Jaws great original white. just a really big great white? Exactly. He was just an oversized great white. That... But you know they're going to ruin it because it's going to be a CG shark it, and it's no, not going to look I, right. I would like that though. You would like the, a CG well, shark? Did no. you see the original Jaws? Yeah. When that shit came up on the boat, I was like, "Well, yeah. for then it was good." Yeah, agreed. A lot and, of people still say it looks amazing today on Blu-ray. <laughs> I agree, but I, I don't know. They just, just replaced think... it with clips of Shark Week. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> I would I would enjoy seeing a CG makeover of Jaws, a Bruce, if you want to call it by his name. 
Um, I, I just would enjoy it. Because I just don't know why he shot him in the face and he freaking exploded. He had the tank in his mouth. Is that why? Okay. Yeah, he, had the, the, get, he exploded in a bit. And how did he come back from that? How do you come back from getting exploded? That's what I'm saying. That They never <laughs> should have made a sequel. They, they, they want the, make sense. What How many did they go to? Four? Where he's in Jamaica? He's in, Jamaica. One, he's in like a theme park and yeah, that like one. a water park or something. I like that one. That was kind of cool. He, <laughs> it's a shark and he flooded a damn theme park and got out. I like that. That was pretty cool. Plus, but, I played the game and that was like my favorite level on the game. That's my favorite game of all time. I don't even care. PS2, Jaws. Psh, being a big ass shark killing people on the beach. This doesn't yeah. have to do with the movies at all, but did those people ever make any advancements on that theory that, like, underneath the ocean floor, there's just the old prehistoric giant sharks the that are white under the that we don't trench. know? They don't, they don't know that yet. They probably <laughs> won't read, ever read, find out unless it actually happens. Everyone, hold on to your seats. Could they acclimate to our environment today? No. Th- listen, listen. Every, hold on to your seats. What do they eat? Hold on. Shut up. Hold on to your seats. I'm going to say something that might shock you. All I right. read a book once. Holy oh! 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 Exactly. But... Oh, actually, I read a whole lot of books, but it's about oh! it's about that. Wait, how did we get on this topic? I don't know. But it was what about, are we talking this about right now. Megalodon sharks. sharks oh. and he said that? Under the we're talking about under, Jaws, under the Marianas Trench. Under there is another ocean, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay. They went down there. They found this megalodon. It chased them up, and it couldn't survive, and it died. But it had a baby, mm-hmm. and the baby was born there, so it adjusted to it, and it became a megalodon shark in our ocean and fucked shit up. What are you getting at with this? I don't know. I'm just. I'm Was that what you read? read? Yeah. On a book. I I, yeah. I know. I mean, it's, a, it's, a fic- it's a fiction. It's a fiction book. Say, like, it didn't actually happen. No. <laughs> okay. I don't see that. That'd be that's be really but quick did, adaptation right there. You, <laughs> you, I would. I like to believe that there's something there, because how how much how many percent of the world's ocean have we explored? None of it. Like, exactly. Like five percent. Exactly. I. Mo- we know five. so much yeah. more about space than we do exactly. our oceans. That's why I like. I wouldn't say that. No, no we do. It's, it's, it's true. The more we it's find true. out about space, the less we actually knew about. But we, it. <laughs> but we still know more than we know about our oceans yeah. currently. We're I all- mean. We're finding new species. How many species a day do we find in the rainforest alone? Yeah, go to and Australia. And that's that's a yeah. They're every, still in the Jurassic period. <laughs> the fucking spiders are so big they have health bars. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we kind of need to move on. Yeah, right, we, we got way off topic. Right, but anyway, uh, so coming up, the Iron Man three movie. Coming. We're gonna take a complete one eighty here. Iron Man three. Right. Um, we saw the trailer for that. They released the trailer. Uh, what do you guys think of this movie coming out? I'm pumped. I love Iron Man. I love Robert Downey Jr. I think he plays the character great. I love I that douchebag, but he's also actor. awesome. Uh, he, fits, he really does fit. Oof. I like that he's... What I like about Iron Man is that he's not... He doesn't sort of fit with your other superheroes. Your other superheroes are like, yeah, I'm a superhero, but I don't really want anybody to know it. And like, freaking Superman, I'm just gonna be a journalist. Big as shit, typing on a keyboard. <laughs> and the only thing that's hiding my identity is a pair of glasses. A pair of glasses, yeah. And then Batman's like, I'm rich as fuck, but nobody needs to know. Uh, but Iron Man, he's like, yeah, I'm a superhero. Yeah, I'm Iron Man. I saved you today. Give me stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. I want a cheeseburger. He's still funny and he's like down to earth guy still too. Can he even I, be considered a superhero? Because yes. doesn't a superhero he's fight still, for the good of other people? He does fight for the good. of I other think he people. just fights whoever the fuck he wants. Well, he does. He's just but bored. it's for Iron Man. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's what basically Deadpool. No, he's not no. an anti-hero. Because he doesn't just shoot up shit. Are Deadpool. If Deadpool no. had an Iron Man suit, goodbye world. Because he's just gonna go live in space. Look, Iron Man saved the day in the Avengers, didn't he? Don Ready did with that that Check. missile. He's yeah. like good. Just get out of here! Mm. I'm waiting for the Avengers but, 2. That's well, what you're going to have to wait a while because we have to come out with I Iron know, Man 3, I know, I know. Uh, Captain Thor, America 2, Thor. Thor 2, and the Hulk. So I don't know we have to run through the whole if series. If it's sequels. anything like uh, Avengers 1, it's probably already done or close to being done because Captain America 2, uh, Captain America at the end, they had the trailer yeah. for the Avengers. Uh, and they're finally starting to release on on site little pictures mm-hmm. for Captain America 2. Mm-hmm. I'm actually looking forward to that. That was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Captain America was a good movie. Now, our oh, final mm-hmm. segment is the uh, 25 top nerdy movies to watch um, for in 2013. No, that was just a little link I was going to post in the description for anyone who wanted to watch the trailers. Oh, you don't but, want me to watch go go down the list here? Nah. All right. That's good. Never mind. That it was so we're not going to do that. Question. It was just leading up to a question. But if you want to, there's going to be a link in the description to go see the 
top 25 nerdy movies to watch for in 2013 brought to you by nerdbastards.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, that does it for... No, no, no. There's no. a yeah, question more. left. There's a question left? Yes, here. you fucking dumb shit. You passed it. No, I didn't. It's not on here. No, look right below. Oh, what superhero three. movie would you like to see? There, I'll just take okay. over. What superhero movie would you like to see, guys? Deadpool. Deadpool? Deadpool. It, oh, Ryan Reynolds, oh. Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. But well, he had to go fuck he, it up. He, he was the Green, Green Lantern. Lantern. Exactly. <laughs> That's why they're not doing it right now. Well, it's on back. But there's it's also... on back order. Here's another issue with that. He said the studio he works for doesn't want to make an R-rated Deadpool. Yeah, and I think because Deadpool... th- that's, they're waiting for the R-rated. They're ra- waiting so they can be like, okay, we'll give you the R-rating. But th- I think they want a PG-13. That's what they, they want. want with that's what they movie. want. But the the company that's making it, they don't want it. They want R because that's what Deadpool, Deadpool is. Has to be. If you know there. Deadpool, he ain't no PG-13 <laughs> person. He is R, and it's it's, it's Deadpool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Of course, for me, you guys would obviously know this Swamp Thing. Which is why I'm really pumped for Justice League Dark, Guillermo del Toro. That's going to have Swamp Thing in it. The only thing I'm nervous about with them, they already made a Swamp Thing movie back in the 80s, Wes Craven. He, he just fucked up that movie. But the main problem with Swamp Thing is that he doesn't really speak. He just, what pops up in the little bubbles are his little thoughts. Yeah, he doesn't. He well, that's what Deadpool, thought. I mean, well, Deadpool does talk, but he has thoughts going through his head. And he always dodges to the left, I actually found that out. Yeah. <laughs> and knows. I find that he's the only superhero comic book hero that knows he's in the comic book. Yeah, he breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> a lot. That's weird. He talks to so you. He's, I assume that they would make a movie that he would know he's in a movie, too. Yeah, well, the game. Deadpool he knows game. he's in a game, right? Yeah. He's, like, I thought, I, I, okay, nerd. I follow him on Facebook. <laughs> you follow Deadpool yeah, on Facebook? Yeah, I follow Deadpool on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, hey Deadpool, it. what's up, buddy? And <laughs> it's it's just funny because I watched the clips and the whole whole trailer for the game is Deadpool talking to you basically. Like there'll be times where you do a, a combo and you'd be like, "Dude, that was a sweet ass combo. Can we do that again sometime?" Like, yeah, I, I don't know. That's what I like about Deadpool. How do we get back to my person? To be quite honest, I don't I don't know what superhero I'd really like to see other than like I mean if they could pull it off. I'd really like to see if they could pull out an Aquaman movie. I think that'd be yeah. cool. I mean, the whole thing would be CG, and I could see them doing it just like Green Lantern. Horrible CG at that. It's not going to be anywhere near like... If, I think James Cameron could do it. I think he could probably do an yeah, Aquaman maybe. movie. He won't do it, but You're, he could. Wonder Woman. I think, to be quite honest, if they want to go with the look of Wonder Woman, a celebrity out there right now that looks just like Wonder Woman... The thing I, is, actually, while you're on the t- subject, well, we sort of passed it, on Aquaman... Mm-hmm. Since they're making the Superman movie, and they've made the Batman movies to lead up to Justice League, do you think they might actually do, like, the other Justice League characters? Like There's Aquaman a lot of Justice League. But they were the, Flash, just like the Avengers. Got... There's a bunch of Avengers. They I wouldn't mind a Flash hand. movie. I mean, Wolverine yeah, was even know. in the Avengers. And a lot of the X-Men were in the Avengers, too. Yeah. yeah. But I think, um, what was I going to say? Wonder Woman. Wonder I think Wonder if... Nope. I, don't, I doubt she could probably act very well. I don't know. But if they get wanted to get... Minaj. No. <laughs> that's not Wonder Woman sorry too much of an ass to fly around it's not you know, it's not it's a big hazard <laughs> too fat to fly but Katy Perry looks no. just like Wonder Woman she Can't does look just like Wonder Woman I'm saying she looks just like Wonder Woman or they said Beyonce yeah. has always wanted to play Wonder Woman she's black so Wonder Woman's white Catwoman was white they had Halle Berry do it uh, that's true so that's there you go movie, racist what will- oh if, no! If Katy Perry was Color Wonder, TV. Wo- Wonder Woman, what are, Whoa! What would her superpower be? Just annoying people to Sing. death with her cat screech singing voice? I'm, I don't know. And I sort of added this in sort of like five minutes ago. <laughs> Another question. Let's say for some odd reason, DC and Marvel got together. Decided to collaborate on something. Oh my god, what, that'd be an amazing movie. What two superheroes, one for, or two supervillains, one from each side, mm-hmm. would you like to see come together in an epic battle. To fight together or against each other? Against each other. Wait, against wait, wait, each other. Wait. A super villain and a villain? Or wait. You can do it anyway. <laughs> villain, hero, 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 villain, villain. I would like to DC. see Iron Man like Batman. I honestly thought you'd say something like Deadpool versus Deathstroke. No, because they're the same person. They can't do that shit. <laughs> That's like me saying Swamp Thing versus Man Thing. I definitely want to see Iron Man versus DC. Who really notable does it? Let's see, DC... Who's notable from DC? Batman. Know. Superman. I don't know if I want I kind of want to say Woman. Superman, but I don't know, because I know Iron Man yeah. technically has to lose. Yeah, because you can't kill him. He just goes into... He's a healing that's coma. It. Cop out! Iron Man captures him and keeps him in a constant healing coma. <laughs> I don't know. I would... He's smart. He could figure it out. Uh, Iron Man versus Superman. That's what I want to say. Iron Man versus Superman. Mm. 
I do want to put one of my fellow elementals in there. Swamp Thing? Swamp Versus Thing, Hulk? Poison Ivy. Ooh. Poison Ivy being Marvel, Wait, though. Wait, Poison... No. Poison Ivy's an elemental. Poison Ivy's DC because Poison she was Batman. Or she is DC. Yeah. Okay. How about the versus the Hulk? Um. Or versus the Flame Mon guy, the to- Human Torch. Human Torch. No. Or the or the Silver Surfer. Silver oh, Surfer. Eh. I'm he not sure. Devours really. planets. I don't like Wait, Silver Surfer. Wait. Silver Surfer That's devours Silver planets. planets. Yes. Yeah. Silver Surfer versus Swamp Thing because Swamp Thing needs to planet. To he has survive. to protect the green. He has to protect all plants. All right. Or how about Animal Man and Swamp Thing to make it an even match? Fine. Because Animal Man can, is in the red, which is what controls all animal life. Swamp Thing is in the green, which controls all plant life, versus Silver Surfer, who I guess is sort of like the rot or the gray, who tries to decay all living matter. On I would planet. enjoy seeing... I don't even know what I'm going to say, actually. I just wanted to try and get my voice You already here. got one in. I know. You had your chance. Um, okay, well, I think that does it. I think that sums up everything um, for the first episode of the Dojo Studios podcast. Mm-hmm. This has been Rez. Do teach New Hayes. Coming to you from Dojo Studios. If you like this... <laughs> it's just his kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this, please uh, leave a like. Let us know in the comments if you like this so we know we should keep doing this. We probably will do it anyway. But <laughs> and, don't if, care. if you want to read up on any of the art... Of, any of the things we were talking about, there'll be a link in the description for everything. Exactly. Questions, concerns, comments. Oh, leave questions. some comments for ideas for a possibility of an episode for next week. Episode for next week. What would you like to see us talk about? Also, leave your comments in the uh, about what superhero movie you would like to see. Not movie superhero. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why are you pointing at the microphone? I don't know. It's like I'm talking to them. Put in the comments what superheroes you would like to see team up and fight against each other. Team up and fight against each other. I like you. I hate you. <laughs> two Marvel <laughs> characters, two DC characters okay, fight against okay. each other. You fucking idiot. Mm. Anyway, do that. If you remember that, what I just said, rewind if you don't. But until next time, thanks for watching.